<laughs> so I also like to thank uh, Jason for wearing his Saturday pants tonight. <laughs> yeah, you'll laugh when you leave here. Probably for some other reason, but you'll laugh. I haven't talked about anything new lately, so I've got this random access memory. So, you know, we, uh, you kind of like cut some time because you, you know, you run over your eight minutes. Might be five minutes to you, but my rule is eight minutes. <laughs> so uh, I'm just randomly accessed by Recycle Bin and let's see what kind of shit falls out of here. What is the worst possible thing you could say to a homeless person? Shh! Use your indoor voice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, here's that one. I think a lot, way too much, about fictional characters and what really goes on in their lives. But really, what does it matter? Like, I should think about real people because this is not reality. We're all fictional characters because everybody here, the way I think about you, is probably not who you really are. It's something I made up myself. And whatever you think about me, it's whatever you think about me, it's not me. So we're all fictional characters, so I can get away with thinking of real fictional characters. And none of this makes sense, and that's why I enjoy it so much. I think that Vilma did both Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> Quite likely at the same time. <laughs> Ruby, 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 indeed. <laughs> and now for another pair of, uh, well, just a pair of fictional characters. The most essentially ambiguous fictional characters in the history of fiction. Bert and Ernie. What really is going on here? You know, some people say they're gay and some people say, no, no. Okay, these are two people who share the same bed and also share the same sex. They're a same sex couple. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, Bert is older than Ernie. You know, Bert's lost a lot of his hair. And Ernie has this boyish quality about him. <laughs> and they've never established any family relationship between the two. You know, is, he, is Bert Ernie's father? His uncle is his brother. No, that's never been mentioned. And that seems pretty conspicuous by its absence. <laughs> so, let's see. Bert's an adult. Ernie is a child, probably like grade school age, going by his personality, his mentality. <laughs> so, Basically, Bert snatched Ernie off of Sesame Street and took him out to his one bedroom apartment. And they've been living together ever since. And everybody on fucking Sesame Street is tight lipped about it. Nobody says a word. <laughs> Think about that. I did. Uh, just to uh, randomly in this, I can think I can wrap it up in one minute or three minutes, whatever it is in my time zone here. Once upon a time, actually twice upon a time, but only once. <laughs> I lived in uh, California, and I had a roommate. And since some of here thinks I'm a racist. Not me, I don't think that about myself. But my roommate was, uh, he was Mexican. 
of the Tatao. He was also blind, and he also had uh, MS. So I learned a lot from him. Mainly that God must really hate Mexicans. <laughs> but, you know, he had, a, he had a guide dog, and he told me about this time that, well, there was this blind guy that walked into a bar, which was him, and he had his dog with him. And as he was uh, entering the bar, he started pulling on the dog's, dog's leash and started pulling tighter until he, the dog has, you know, he doesn't have any feet on the floor. So he yanks it up and like starts twirling the dog around over his head. The bartender said, what the fuck, dude? What are you doing? He said, eh, just looking around. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>